Whoa, what's that? Mary, what did we just get in the Biontech One office? Guys, we just got the Dexcom G6 demo kit. We're so excited to see what this baby looks like. The Dexcom G6 was just FDA approved. Um, there's a ton of awesome new features and we're super excited to show you guys. Yeah, we're taking a first look. So the news came out yesterday um, that the G6 is FDA approved. So we are really lucky to have a first look. This is not a working G6, but it is a demo. So we're hopefully gonna have one that we can use pretty soon in the Beyond Type 1 office and let you know more info about it. But we wanted to give you a look at what it looks like. Um, and Mary and I, this is Mary, our Hi. community partners and programs manager, and you're listening to Dana, who is the communications manager. We are both type one and we are both Dexcom users. So this is sort of personally exciting as well as yeah. something we can share with all of you. So, all right, what are we looking at, Mary? Okay, so let's see. In this awesome box, first of all, we have the new sensor and transmitter. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Ooh, look. That's really skinny. Look how thin that is, you guys. That's crazy. It's My pinky is bigger than that. So we were thinking something cool about this it might be that you can even put it like on the inside of your arm. Ooh. Ooh. We're throwing it around. It's very, it's very durable, <laughs> yeah, which is great. Yeah, but Thank it's slim here. enough that we think maybe you could put it on the inside of your arm. Oh, probably not FDA approved for arm wear, but <laughs> as Dexcom users, you know, we've been known to move them around um, without it bumping, though. So we think yeah. that's cool, and smaller size is definitely yeah. key. I wonder if it clicks in the same way or not. I don't know. We're going to find out. I don't know. We'll find out. This one doesn't click in or work because it's just the demo, um, but and this just sort of gives us a nice, like... So you can see how big it is, which if you guys have used Dexcom, you know that this is a lot smaller than the current um, transmitters, which are a little bit more bulky. So this is awesome. This is a huge step up. Is um, the receiver the same as the G5 Touch? We have a question from Jordan. I actually haven't seen a G5 Touch. Have you seen a G5 Touch? I know they have a new receiver. I have um, not seen the G5 Touch. We both just use our iPhones, but <laughs> this is what this receiver looks like. It looks very similar to the G5 receiver. I would assume that it's probably the same because they just yeah, came out Yeah, it's probably it. really so similar. I would, yeah, I would say that they probably, like, not 100% sure, but I would say they probably made this to work with both the G5 mm -hmm. and the G6. Yeah. No, that's cool. But this will also connect directly to a smartphone. Yeah, exactly. Um, it works with yeah. both Android and Apple devices, which is awesome, including iPhones, Apple Watches, Android Watches. So it's super cool. Um, and then obviously this other big announcement. Oh, new... it looks like you oh. can, um, sorry. It looks like these app demos are available for anyone. So if you want to check out the apps. You can now, it looks like you can download the G6 demo app. If you take a look, those are the URLs. I would go to those URLs and check it out. Um, we have questions about when it's available for upgrade. We are asking Dexcom. They have said soon. We want to know a more specific timeline, but I think in the next couple months at the latest, people should be rolling out. And I have also heard, again, this isn't all for sure, but we have heard that if you're a current G5 user, you'll be able to, next time you reorder, do G6 get a replace upgrade mm -hmm. to the g6 so hopefully hopefully it goes pretty smooth and then so this is the new applicator um also so you guys if you guys have a dexcom users you know how big and painful and um unwieldy those applicators can be and so i like to call it the harpoon <laughs> the current g5 it's, it's applicator it's totally a harpoon um and so this is Super, super exciting, total game changer. You just press it with one hand to put the sensor in. There's no more like pushing and pulling and breaking things off. Yeah, so that's cool. This is gonna be great, really help for like one-handed applications. If you like putting on it on your arm or for little kids, especially who are, might be a little bit you know scared of needles. Um, so this one obviously doesn't work because it's just the demo, but it's really cool to see. Um, and it looks like it's gonna work really, yeah, really well. Yeah, and hopefully a little more friendly for kids because mm -hmm. the one for the G5 is a little scary. <laughs> um, so we are excited about the new applicator. Also, like, I don't know what you guys do for acrobatics to get one on the back of your arm when you're by yourself, but um, it can be a little crazy right now with the G5 applicator. So we are looking forward to that. Um, all right, what else do we have? Mary, do you have your G5? Someone asked if we could do a G5, G6 side-by-side -side comparison. I don't. You don't? Okay, no, we don't no, have any No currently. one in the office currently actually has one on. We're, yeah, we we're are sorry, being bad. Guys. <laughs> um, okay, cool, all right. This is sort of what we can show right now. Um, people are 
asking lots of questions about price and accessibility. Obviously, we have a lot of the same questions. Um, we have asked Dexcom, and hopefully we'll have an update to our article um, soon about whether pricing will be any different than G5, as well as whether coverage will be any different than G5. We have also asked about um, international availability and whether there are approvals pending internationally. So this FDA approval is just in the United States right now, um, but hopefully we will have some news about international availability. Um, yeah, all right, cool. So we are going to, like I said, if anybody has any quick questions, we can answer them. Um, and then otherwise, hopefully in the next week or so, we're going to have a working G6 and going to be doing some videos and articles, doing side-by-side -side comparisons with the G5. Um, so stay tuned for that. We're really, really excited to let you know. Um, we have a couple questions. Okay, here, mm -hmm. this is all, all, I can do this if you want. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, can, can I? All right. Okay. All right. We are answering your questions in selfie mode. Um, can Jerry the Bear get one too? Um, <laughs> we will have to ask Desc Dexcom if they'll make yeah. Jerry the Bear a G6, but we think that would be really fun. Um, what else do we have? Can G5 switch over? That's the hope. Again, we have questions out to Dexcom for exactly how that transition process will go mm -hmm. if you're a current G5 user, but we've been assured that the switch from G5 to G6 will be pretty straightforward. Um, and I would recommend calling a, your Dexcom person um, or calling their helpline. If you go to Dexcom's website, they have all of the info up about mm -hmm. how to get started. Um, yeah. And I would contact them through there. They're probably a little swamped right now. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. <laughs> and hello, everybody else watching. Um, we have questions, does this work with a Medtronic pump? So unlikely right now, Medtronic does make their own sensors. Um, Mary is actually on a 670G yep. with a Medtronic sensor. So, um, you know. Mm -hmm. Choices are good. Um, the hope is that with this G6, they have made it so that it is available for future integrations with insulin pumps. So we are really watching and listening to see what is going to come out of people like Omnipod and Tandem. Um, and we're really crossing our fingers that this could be the sensor that is the future piece of you know more hybrid closed loop systems beyond the one that's available for Medtronic. Yeah. Um, insert video. We're not going to do one right now. I, we don't have the capability to insert the demo kit, but we will do that when we get the real one. Yes. Um, we'll use the inserter for you. We will do side-by-side -side looks at like the readings from a G6 and a G5. I'm super curious. I have heard that it's super accurate. I've heard you don't have to calibrate it at all, not even when you put it on. I've also heard that it does do a forced shutoff after 10 days, which definitely, like, I know... I get two or three weeks out of my Dexcom sensors, full disclosure. Um, obviously it's not FDA approved for that, but I am a little bit like, on one hand, disappointed that I won't be able to extend it beyond the 10 days, but that is how they've gotten it so that you don't have to do, um, or that's how you, it, it, yeah, so they don't do calibrations. So um, that's the trade off there, but <laughs> something to know about. Yeah. Um, Aaron, yeah, that's what I was just saying, is that we've heard there's a hard shut off after 10 days, um, but that it wears for 10 days. Yep, thank you. Any other questions? Transmitter battery life? I have the same question. That's a good one. We're not sure. Like, uh, <laughs> like Dana said, we've asked Dexcom a whole bunch of questions, um, and so they're getting back to us on those. I'm doing a whole bunch of interviews with people right now, so hopefully we'll have a lot of these answers for you guys um, in the next few weeks. We're so excited because we're like the, one of the first people to even see this demo kit, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Um, and so we're like we're super excited to see this and then see the actual product and see how it looks um, and hopefully get some of these answers for you guys yeah. and like be able to show you the you know the insertion and the new inserter and the profiles and stuff like that. So yeah. For now, you can read more. There's a link in the description of this video, and that's where we have like updated coverage going on there. Um, and then as soon as we get the working G6, we'll have like lots more content, the actual insertion, the accuracy, and how it works with no calibrations. Um, it says, what's the device? Okay, yeah, let's take one more look at the actual <laughs> device. Yes. Um, and then we are gonna let you go. See, here's the... All right, one more look. There's what it's going to look like on... That's an iPhone. That's an iPhone X. And that's the Dexcom receiver. Transmitter. That's an Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. Now here's what it actually looks like. 
this isn't charged up yet, but this is what the receiver will look like. If you're a receiver user, I don't think it comes charged at all. <laughs> we haven't plugged it in yet, but pretty cool. We are phone users, so that's kind of how I usually do it. Um, and then this is what the sensor looks like. It's super skinny. What can we compare it to? Really skinny. We could literally, Mary's. like, if yeah. you guys, this is my pinky finger, yeah. and it's thinner than my pinky finger. I mean, really like slim. A, you do not need an iPhone X. You can use, yeah. <laughs> um, it's available on iPhone, any iOS, and Android, both. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Um, and one more look at the applicator. Super cool. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> All right, cool. Pew, pew. Thank you, everybody. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, and oh, oh, this came to life. Look, it's on. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's what that looks like. It's touch screen. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. All right. Thank you all. This is an Mackie. signing off from Beyond Type 1. <laughs> this is Mackie. He's our office mascot. <laughs> all right. More from us really soon on the Dexcom G6. Yay. Read the article for more info. And happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday.